Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments and I'm here to take a look at an inspirational brass instrument, Valves, developed in collaboration with E-Instruments. This is intimate brass for contemporary productions, with evolving textures that intertwine with one another, performed by five solo brass instruments in a unique ensemble setting. Trombone, flugelhorn, French horn, euphonium and tuba. The sound of valves is warm and mellow with chromatically sampled content. The solo brass players performed as an ensemble with a single conductor, but acoustically isolated during the recording process. This means you get the best of both worlds, a pro ensemble playing together for authentic balance, whilst retaining the flexibility of playback for you to balance and mix the instruments however you prefer. The ensemble always performs as a consistent five-piece section. And when you play valves, the notes you choose are intelligently distributed to the single instruments to form a cohesive brass section with instrument interplay and movement, a truly unique experience. Valves features full NKS functionality for native instruments hardware and includes automatic parameter assignments and audio previews. This library also features polyphonic legato for sustain articulations and true legato sustain transitions. When implemented alongside the voicing options and alternating notes, authentic brass legato movements are generated. First off, let's take a listen to a handful of the 100 tempo synced preset phrase combinations. Great starting points for your own creations with articulation combos that are all fully editable. This is the interface for valves with many of the most used features right here on the front panel. You have access to the preset browser here. In addition, use these three icons to head to the phrase sequencer, effects and settings pages. More on all of those features in a short while. Across the bottom of the interface, available from any page, you'll find a button for choosing random phrases, re-trigger control, moment slider for moving between phrase variations A, B and C. At a glance indicators for the five instruments, flugelhorn, French horn, trombone, euphonium and tuba, and at the far right character and dynamic styles for shaping the timbre of the sound. The 
The presets of valves are composed in many styles, with collections grouped and tagged into a number of different categories, so you'll easily be able to find your perfect preset. Choose either five instruments with a full section, or a small section with fewer instruments. Time signatures of 4-4, 3-4 and 6-8 can be selected, along with phrases suitable for slower, medium and faster tempos. You can also filter by performance style and the type of sound that you need. In fact, it's simple to select multiple tags and filter your preset selection to just the most useful phrases for your own needs. Flick through the phrases you filtered with the left and right arrows here. To favourite a phrase, just click on the little star icon beside it. You can also limit your search to just your favourite phrases just here. These favourites will be remembered even when you close and reopen valves. Of course, NKS compatibility means that valves presets are also available via complete control with audio previews. It's worth noting that when a phrase loads, you'll hear the A, B or C version of it, depending on where you set the moment slider here. So although there are 100 presets, there are actually three times that number of variations. You can hear all the variations by moving the slider or clicking A, B or C. Don't forget that when you choose a phrase, you'll be loading new sequences and also new effects chains so there's a huge amount of variety in the sounds here. Let's take a look at how phrases play back in the sequencer page. At a glance you can see the five instruments organised from top to bottom, in order of their range. The flugelhorn naturally plays the highest range of the instruments, and the tuba the lowest. The articulations that play are represented by these graphics, and they are mirrored in the five circular icons here. When you play a single note, the instruments will play that note in their natural octaves, with tempo synced articulations set by the sequencer. Add in more notes, up to five in total, and the smart voice assignment will divide and arrange your played notes amongst the five instruments, taking into account their natural ranges. This results in some colourful interplay between notes and octaves. It's possible to set up specific playback rules for each instrument's voicing along the right hand side here. Arpeggiator up or down will use your played notes as an arp in either direction. When activated, Voice Alternate will swap voicing between two or more instruments. With just two instruments in play, you can hear the effect clearly as the notes swap back and forth. With more instruments, this makes for some interesting movement with harmonies and voice leading as the instruments play phrases off against one another. Here's something more complex, with the flugelhorn and French horn alternating, and the trombone and euphonium alternating. You can see that the phrase variations change as I move from moment A, through to B, and finally to C. These changes are occurring from the uppermost instrument first as the moment slider progressively introduces new phrase variations, one instrument at a time. The randomize button here will choose new phrases for each of the five instruments and all of the moment variations, keeping the current effects intact. This is a super quick way to conjure up inspirational ideas all without touching the phrase editor.
But of course, you can dive deeper if you want to tweak the phrases. More on that later. It's possible to mute, solo, and deactivate each of the five instruments via the icons that pop up next to each circle. Just click the M or S for mute and solo, or click the center circle or the on off button to the left hand side to deactivate. It's worth understanding the difference between muting and deactivating an instrument. When muted, the auto arranging scripting will still assign your played notes to an instrument, you just won't hear them. On the other hand, when deactivated, an instrument will be ignored in the arrangement and your played notes assigned to the other activated instruments. There's also a small lock for each instrument just here to prevent any randomization changes. Locking an instrument also prevents it changing from the currently selected moment, A, B or C. This means that you can keep one or more instruments playing a particular phrase whilst you move others through the moment variations. When you play chords and change notes, the default is that the sequences continue to run uninterrupted. Press the retrigger button if you want each new key press to begin a sequence anew. Note that the retrigger function operates per instrument so that you can retrigger on a per key basis, making for some quite musical moments as you change from key to key. Each instrument can have its notes transposed up or down with the octave control. Bear in mind this is an intelligent system that will never play outside of a single instrument's natural range, transposing notes that are too high or too low back to within their normal ranges. By default, wherever you play on the keyboard, all instruments currently activated will be assigned a note. You can hear that with the flugelhorn as I play every E on my keyboard. However, it's also possible to play within only the true range of the instruments. Click here to activate that option. This means that if you play a note outside a real life range, you won't hear the instrument at all. You can open each phrase for editing, just click the instrument's name in the sequencer page. The timeline is segmented so that you can insert articulations along the length, up to four bars. To change an existing articulation or add one, just click into the magnifier or plus icon, then choose from the seven categories of articulation in the browser, essential, crescendo, decrescendo, swell, waves, noises, and motifs. All articulations are standardized across the five instruments, and you can either choose a bar or beat length, or lengthen and shorten a particular articulation by dragging at the sidebar. Sustains will be stretched, and all other articulations clipped. The dynamic of each individual articulation can be dragged vertically to increase or decrease. These are played relative to the overall dynamic level shown by this dial. Delete and repeat articulations along the remainder of the timeline, just here. Loop points for the sequence can be dragged to adjust, and each of the five tracks can be set its own loop start, end and length, running completely independently. This is super useful if you don't want a standard 4 bar loop. Polymetric time signatures can also be created with loops of different lengths. There are a couple of options that apply to an entire sequence. Clearing a sequence, or copy and pasting between instruments. It's important to remember that you have A, B and C moments for every instrument, effectively giving you three different phrase sequences that can be programmed for each. One last point about the sequences, 
you can adjust the beats and grid division just here. For example, if you want to work in a different time signature or in triplets. Pressing Alt on your keyboard switches off the grid and snapping, allowing you to introduce humanizing shifts to create a phrase with less rigid timing. Simply press Alt and drag the block, start or end the block, or even loop points. The hold button here will continue playback even after you lift your fingers from the keys. By default, this behavior is tied to your sustain pedal. The super flexible effects page is here. This page gives you the ability to fine tune the balance of the instruments and apply transformative audio effects. Adjust levels and panning for each instrument here. Compress and add tape saturation to taste and adjust the tone. These controls are adjustable per instrument. There are two effects send slots that can be assigned to different types of delay, reverb or special processing. Check out the options in the effects browser. Then adjust the send level of each instrument to each of the two effects. In addition to the per instrument processing, you also have two main effects for the entire signal, with filters, EQ, saturation, modulation, compression and other useful utilities. You'll see different parameter adjustments depending on the effect, but many of these feature tempo synced LFOs with options for different oscillator shapes. Lastly, the settings page, where you'll find settings for voicing, pitch bend range, master tuning and sample load behavior. Change the voicing detection sensitivity to determine how the engine responds to fast or slow playing. Pitch bend wheel range is adjusted between 1 and 7, which can be useful for adding subtle vibrato or more dramatic swoops. Master tuning can be changed to match the different default tuning of live orchestras. You can either load all samples available or limit them to just the ones being used per preset. This option is handy if you need to save RAM. I've only had the time to run through a handful of the articulations and preset phrases on offer with valves. This versatile brass instrument injects movement and colour into your productions with just a couple of key presses. Instant inspiration is found with the randomization controls and you should dive deeper into the phrase sequences and effects to craft your own bespoke textures. For more information, check out nativeinstruments.com. And thanks for watching. Thank you.